Jake, if you're joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I am super duper excited. This will be one of the first times I've seen the Poopsie Rainbow Surprise dolls for real. I've seen reviews on them and everybody says they're absolutely gorgeous. But I've never actually seen one. I didn't actually have a tester doll and I'm, I haven't really peeked other than to make sh these ones do have the peeking trick. You can lift it up and you can peek and see what colour hair you're getting. So they do have the ability to cheat, which thank goodness they did, because they're a hundred, um, I think this, the normal retail price is $120 each in New Zealand, which is, oh yeah, that's a fair chunk of dolls. Um, <laughs> so I want one of each. I've managed to get three of the four girls, just got a, I know where Amethyst is, I'm just hoping that she comes down on special soon. Let's not dilly dally anymore and look at the back of the packet. So DIY slime fashion makes slime so sparkly, adds slime to fashion. I am actually going to make the slime to go into the clothing. Um, if you know me, you know I'm not the best, biggest fan of slime, but I'm going to give it a go. And then there's the three, uh, the four girls, sorry. So in this one, you only can get rainbow or pixie. If you are specifically looking for the rainbow hair doll and pink doll, look for the packet that comes with those two on the front. And then if you are after a rainbow or pink, just push down this insert here, get something to move the plastic inside, and you can actually tell what hair color it is. Let's get the plastic off. Okay, the plastic is off. There's a little arrow showing where it's meant to start. So, like the surprise unicorns, you're meant to pull around. I actually really like this element of the surprise. What have we got? We have socks. Okay, we have socks, we have a bottle, Ooh, I'm just going to put all the slide, the things down here and we can open them after I've done this, a jacket, oh look at this container, this is amazing, uh, shoes, keep going, all the little details on the container are so incredibly cute. Uh, it says a purse and I never got a purse? I don't understand. All right. <laughs> a one, two, three, four. I've got one, two, three, four surprises. We've gone from one, two, three, four. And then it says five is a purse, but there is no purse here. So I don't know. We'll keep going and see what happens. <laughs> This one, oh, the purse is afterwards. So unlike the others, which are before it tells you what it is, that one is after. Okay. <gasps> There's a unicorn in Boston here. I'll bring it up. I am definitely DIYing this container. Definitely. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, we've got some rainbow surprise. So I'm guessing that's part of the slime. Keep going, keep going. And then we have this sparkle and shimmers to make the slime very much like the other poopsie products and a cone all right so that was cool another one of these big long things just absolutely co colored i mean i said it in the other video moose used to be my king of packaging i thought moose made the most awesome awesome blind bag products but i gotta hand it to um, mga with poopsie these packets for blind bags are amazing. Now on this side, I'm hoping it shows up in the camera, I'll get into the center here, there is a sun spewing a rainbow down. I am gonna paint this. I'm gonna give it a slight sanding, spray it with Mr. Super Clean, and then paint it. But look what made me say, yep, this is definitely getting painted, one of these. There is this beautiful, beautiful unicorn embossed into it. Oh my goodness gracious me, this is gonna be project okay so I'm definitely doing that now getting on to what the purpose of this is let's see how hard it is to open ah, am I oh, oh 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 I see pink I see pink it's pixie rose isn't she gorgeous let me get into the center here wow what a beautiful doll I she's actually bigger than I thought she was because I she's almost 
fills the container from the top to the bottom I thought she would be a little you know a little squished in with surprises on top and not so she is actually bigger than I thought she would be which isn't a good thing okay I'm just gonna cut her out gently as gently as I possibly can okay so I've got her out but before we look at her I want to look at the surprises that are actually in her makeup rainbow highlighter all right, so that's new. I don't know what makeup, rainbow highlighter. Okay, cool. We got a rainbow highlighter. The standard measuring cup, which comes with most poopsie toys. It's in a cute little pink, this measuring cup. We have instructions to the side. All right. And we have a little unicorn spoon which is a small one for the mixing instead of those feeding ones for the unicorn and the llamas because thank goodness you don't have to feed the dolls slime. Thank goodness. Here she is. She's absolutely beautiful. Her eyes are not done. Um, unlike the unicorns and the llamas, you'll see in the background kind of blurry out over here. Her eyes are not done with the Dream Doll glass eye effect. They are a standard painted on eye, but they do have that gorgeous poopsy effect in that they're done with different colors. They're well painted. I'll bring her up closer so you can check out the eye there. She's done with a purple to a blue to a white with pink streaks through it. There are highlights in her eyes. Above is a soft pink eyeshadow with little white dots through it. And underneath her eyeshadow, highlighting her under eye, is a blue. She does not have rooted on eyeshadows like the critters. Her eye uh, rooted on eyelashes like the critters. They are painted on. She has a small star tattoo. And white on the side she has brown eyebrows with pink flecks in them but look at these lips oh my goodness props to whoever made these lips I think my favorite thing about her face is these plump pouty semi parted lips with beautiful shadowing from the soft pink in the middle to the pink on the outside those lips are some of the most beautiful lips I've seen on a doll absolutely gorgeous whoever stylized those there is another little star tattoo on this side now let's turn her eye her around so we can get a look at her hair she has pink tones dark light and then there is a what would you call that color it's a funny in the dark it's like a hard orange but in the light it's a soft orange it's not a peach I'm just gonna call it a light orange but it changes color it's dark to light so when I first looked at it, I thought oh it's dark orange but in the light it's a soft orange that's really really nice so she's got that little streak through. Oh, is there a different color? No, that's the orange through. So again, it is done in two layers. There is one layer that goes up along here in a messy <coughs> snip. And then there is a bottom layer, which again is not done in a straight snip. It's kind of like <coughs> a messy snip. Is there any hair coming out? There is a few couple of strands coming out, but not too many. So that's pretty good. Yep, there's just a few coming out. All poopsie toys seem to suffer from a bit of hair loss. Let's bring her around again and move up to here. She is wearing something that my daughter loves to wear, which is a light t-shirt, sleeved t-shirt. So this one is in a white with sparkles, with silver sparkles, and then a dress over the top. Now this dress, you'll notice, it has a plastic look to it. That is because you fill it up with actual slime. So this sequins, this sequin material underneath, I wonder how much of it you actually see when you fill it up with slime. We'll find that out for ourselves. Let's have a look how it's attached. Here is the opening to the slime area. It is attached with Velcro. 
are they two separate pieces yes the t-shirt is assigned velcro at the back there so two separate pieces she has pink painted on undies let's look at her articulation just from looks i'm thinking it's the standard five dolls so her head can look from side to side she cannot look up or down her arm can move forward and back and off to the side that way but there is no elbow or wrist movement she has her legs they can move forward and back they cannot linger to kick off to the side there is no knee or ankle movement and her feet are in the high heel pose position she's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm very very happy and again she was larger than I thought she was so if you just look at me holding her put her in the back there in the center because I'm always pulling them off to the side that's an adult hand and that is how big she is she's very very tall doll okay so I'm gonna put the slime surprises aside and the cup and the spoon because we will be making those after we open up all this stuff I imagine I don't know what I've grabbed but let's open it together snippity snip snap snap snip snap snip love I love these blind bags MGA as I said is doing oh my goodness they're the shoes oh wow yeah I saw these I think these are the ones I saw on like cookie swirl C was it cookie swirl C or next gen that I saw these they're gorgeous they're roller skates and underneath somehow you take the shoe off and underneath you pump it full of slime and I thought that was such a cool idea they are roller skates with three wheels and just look at those they are of course in the high heel position as she'll be wearing them that's gorgeous let's just put them on her feet right now is there a l or, or an l or r indication on them no okay well i'm hoping i'm putting them on the right one and that one okay she's got her roller skates on that's going to make her even taller Woohoo! can she stand up by herself yet no <laughs> it's gonna go skating <laughs> strangely enough um there is the next blind bag snippity snip 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 what have we got what have we got oh we've got a farter handbag <laughs> oh my goodness so here is her purse <gasps> oh my goodness i love 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 the play they have on other products with the toilet humor so it is see-through I imagine you can put some slime in there it's glittery and it is stinky strawberry gorgeous okay what have we got here ah. I did pull that one apart snippity snip 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 okay what have we got what have we got what have we got we have a bottle oh so this might be what we're using to make the another way of storing the slime sparkle free sparkle free sparkle free fart <laughs> so it doesn't even try and disguise disguise it fart parody not affiliated with brand <laughs> brand owner oh, that's funny fart sparkle free sparkle free sparkle free i'm actually surprised some brand actually hasn't taken some offense to this but i'm glad that they haven't because this is all in good humor and it is I like when companies can take companies making fun of other companies making fun of them you know I don't like when you see all these sorts of um, product wars and stuff I believe in protecting your brand but when it, it's very when it's done in good humor and everything like that I, I think it's really really cool okay let's pull it out oh what have we got oh so this is the jacket now this jacket as you can see is completely see-through it is uh, it's pretend zipper at the front so you put it on this way you're wearing it and it's another thing that needs to be filled with slime because of course we need more slime <laughs> however I you know I, I kind of like what I saw on the videos I kind of like what I saw so as I said I'm gonna give it a go and if slime goes everywhere 
well then it goes everywhere. Okay, so we're down to the second to last blind bag. Ah, well that didn't go well, did it? That was silly, Lisa. Right, let's go again. Oh, her socks. Two cute little pairs of socks. They've got a pink and a blue across the top there. Oh, we need to put those on before the roller skates, don't we? Well, duh. Um, I will fix that shortly. Then we have the last blind bag. Okay. I always worry about when I'm cutting these blind bags that I'm cutting in something inside, you know? And then you're going to um, have a broken toy. Okay, so this is her comb. A very basic comb. Be interesting to see if it's a standard mold between all the dolls. I'm assuming so. It looks like a rainbow of slime dripping off to the side with a star, a moon, and some hearts. Cute. Alrighty, so what I need to do before I start anything is peruse the instructions. Okay, so the first instruction is to remove the lid from the included bottle. Well, it doesn't have a lid, it has a base. So I'm just going to assume that I meant to remove the base. I'm going to sit it upright and hopefully that's not going to fall over. Alright, put it in the center so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm following the instructions one by one. Now the next step is interesting. In other poopsies you get measuring cups which go... 5 mils and 25 mil lines and that has been the standard I've seen up till now with these dolls they have a cup that goes 15 mils so if you're buying it second hand and you have a poopsie cup or a unicorn cup just understand that the actual doll cup has a different separation line if you fold it and fill it to the top on the other ones you can have very watery slime so 15 mils of water and pour it into the bottle. Then fill and repeat once more for a total of 30 mils. Okay, so 30 mils is effectively what this cup is. I'm going to use this and just pour it all in. I know that because I used it for the other ones. All right, the next step it asks to tear open one of the rainbow surprise packets and pour the powder into the bottle. Pouring, pouring, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. All right, I think that's pretty good. Not much more I can get out of that. Tightly replace the lid on the bottle, then hold the lid and sh rapidly shake the bottle up and down for one minute. Let the mixture sit for 10 to 15 minutes to allow for the slime to harden past that. Okay, so I am going to shake, shake, shake for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here upside down since it says to use a spoon next to scrape it out. Maybe if I balance it between her legs. Thank you, sweetheart. You're being an angel while you're just laying there. <laughs> <laughs> to get dressed. So I'm going to leave this. Now, if anything I've learned from Poopsie products is, especially with sparkly critter slime, unicorn slime, llama slime, is to leave it for a lot more than what they say. So I am actually not going to leave it 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to leave it for half an hour and be right back. All right, it's been 30 minutes. So I'm going to see if it's set in that time. Because they only said 10 to 15, and I don't believe that for a second that it was set in 10 to 15. So let's see how... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes, it's definitely set in 30. So it says next. Open the lid and use the unicorn spoon to remove the slime from the bottle. Well, what do you do with it after you remove it? Let's get one of the Poopsie Unicorn Toilets right here. Sorry, sweetheart. Let's move you out while I scoop this out. Now where is the, oh there it is, get the appropriate spoon. Okay, yeah, this is the right consistency for me where it's not too hard and it's not squishy water. And look at that, that just came out lovely at that consistency. There's not much cleaning on that. We'll check around on the lid. 
So yeah, it is slime feeling and that it's sticking, but it's doing what I love, which is the ability to be manual, malleable. Okay, malleable, if you don't know what it means, look it up. <laughs> the more you know, rainbow. Um, okay, we're just going to close that up. Tear open a rainbow magic packet. Hold the slime in the palm of hand, then use the other hand to pour the powder into the center of light. the slime. Add unicorn magic a little at a time. Okay, rainbow magic. Where is our magic? Well, we've used this rainbow surprise. It's the highlighter. And then, then we've got rainbow magic, was it say? Okay, tear open the rainbow magic packet and Add a little at a time, all right. So I'll do what they're saying. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Sorry. I'll try and do this so my hands don't get in the way of the camera too much. I'm a big believer in just throwing it all in there as I have with my other slimes, you know. <laughs> and the sparkly critters, I think I said it said a little at a time, and I was just like, that works. <gasps> okay, so this isn't my style. <laughs> Mum is gonna go, there we go, let's get it all out of there. Come on. Let's move it. Now, this is why. I I say you use the dab technique, not that arm technique the kids are all using now. You just fold it over, dab to get a little more, fold it over. So have a container. I mean, it's so much easier having a container than pouring it into your hand. I don't know why they don't suggest getting a container. This is beautiful consistency already. So this slime, I wonder if they changed it for the dolls, is a m much better consistency, much faster. It took an hour with the unicorns to get set to how I like it. That's really, really nice. You can see this, I'm having no problems pulling it. It's not sticking to my fingers in any sort of way. It's not gonna stick to my cloth. There you go, it's not sticking and yucky to the cloth. That is a beautiful consistency slime, super duper fast. I like that. Folding the slime until the powder is thoroughly blended into the slime. Your slime, slime will change to a surprise color. Well, it's a pink which really isn't a surprise. It just made it a tone lighter. Okay, you can tear open the rainbow sparkle or rainbow shimmer to add it to this step. All right, so I, where are they? So we've got this rainbow sparkle here and rainbow shimmer. I'll add a rainbow shimmer. I don't know if I'll do a rainbow sparkle. Well, hang on, maybe the shimmer makes it change a bit of color. I don't know. Let's find out together. Bloop, 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 bloop. I am not one for waiting for slime. I ain't got the time because I'm a mummy. <laughs> okay. The good thing when it's like this is if you get any of this glittery stuff on the mat, you just plop it and it picks it all up. And we got a poopsie surprise here. We managed to do that every single time too. Okay. So it looks like the shimmer is adding a deeper purple sparkle to it. Mm, didn't really change color, did it? No, it's still just a light pink. It's just more shimmery now. Now, to make it extra super cute, and since I already have one of the Unicorn Sparkle packets open from um, Rainbow Bright Star and Oopsie Starlight from Wave 1.1 of the Poopsies videos I've just done, I'm going to see which one has stars in it. Is it this one? I can't really see in there. Yep, that one's got stars in. I really, really like the star one. So I'm going to add stars to the slime. And that'll put stars all through it. And that means it's going to show stars through her clothes, which will be super cute. 
But yeah, I don't know why they don't give you a resealable packet on the, um, the sparkle packets, because otherwise it's just going to go everywhere. So I'll just bring this up so you can see better. This is what we've got. It's sticky and it's able to be easily moved around, but it's not so sticky that it's like watery slime. It's not running through my hands. It's not sticking to my hands. I basically can just move them off. That's really cute. And it's got little, little stars in there. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'm glad I waited the extra 15 minutes. I think it was just on that point of being cured, so that's great. What does it say? Open the purse, so you can put it in here, to store your slime. Tightly replace the cover after pouring the slime, okay? So that's if you want to put it in your purse. Locate the seal on the garment. So here is where we get the jacket. Here we are, her jacket. Locate the seal on the garment and open it to add the slime. Then totally, then, sorry, totally. Then tightly close the seal to prevent spilling. If you have the dress or skirt, the seal is located on the back. All right, so I'm going to first do her jacket. Where is it? Okay, it's over here. Okay, so I finally managed to get that little opening done. Um, I don't think you can fill the back because it's just, yeah, you can't fill the back and I don't, you can't fill the sleeve. So it's just the front of the jacket that can be filled with slime. So this is going to be interesting how easy this is. Whoops. Okay. Ah. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to get it in there. It doesn't want to go. Now it's deciding to stick to my fingers. I think I'm going to have to use some sort of instrument to poke it down there that's smaller than my fingers. So I've got one of the poopsy llamas cleany brushes here. Oh my goodness! Get in there! Get in there! Please! <laughs> this is actually a bit hilarious. Oh, this is like shoving boogers in. Okay, there we go. Okay! All right. No, now stick to my finger. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna make a right meal of this, aren't I? Oh, but hang on, the other side doesn't have the um, the sticky brush. The other side has a flat bit. That might actually be easier. Brains, mummy, brains. You were born with them. Use them. Okay. Let's. That's a lot easier. If you have one of these cleaning brushes from the unicorn or the llama, that is. So so much easier. Okay, I'm going to seal that up and then you're meant to manipulate it around. So I've made sure that the seal is super tight. I can't do that any tighter, Padha. Any tighter. And there you have it. <laughs> that is actually kind of weirdly cool. And I'm not a slime fan, but check that out. That is really cool. And I wonder, um, for those who don't know, you can actually use slime in some sort of craft things when they dry out. They actually make some really cool craft pieces because um, it is effectively just glue that's being prevented with another agent from setting. So I wonder if I let this dry out, if it'll stay like that in the jacket. This really cool, sparkly, it's got little sparkly stars in it as well. Jacket, I actually like that. That is a really cool idea. That is something I don't mind doing with slime. How cool is that? I'm going to get the other side done. Do, 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 do. Getting it in there. Do, 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 do. Okay. Try and get some of the air out of there. Then seal it. Super tight. Can't be much tighter than that. Let's spread it around. Did I do well? I tried to like estimate in my head how much I needed to fill the whole thing up quite. Yep, perfect. Look at that. That is really cool. I like that. I really like that. This one's actually a tiny bit better. Oh no, actually that note they are kind of quite sealed. I actually really like that. I have no complaints. That was fun. All right, I'm going to try the dress. Okay, so the dress has a seal at the side 
for when it's going to probably need the rest of that slime to try and fill this out. So it's just like a big blob in there. Oh, how attractive! You've got a blob on your dress, uh, darling. It's the latest trend, don't you know? All right, so I'm going to try. I think the best bet is to try and push this as far to the other side of the dress as I can. So if I open it up without tearing it in any sort of way, uh, still needs to get down there a bit. I love this little tool, this little llama tool for pressing this stuff. Because if go, your fingers go in there, it seems to want to jump back with your fingers. Let me get down here and start splashing it everywhere. There is the ability to make a second lot. So do you make a second lot to fill it out? Let's see how much of the dress actually gets covered. I don't want a thick covering, otherwise it'll make her look like she's too chubby and I don't want her to be chubby. I want her to be... Hmm... I think that requires the second packet to be made, to be quite honest. They have given you the ability to make two, hopefully. Hang on. There is... Well, there's another rainbow surprise. Open that up. And then there is a rainbow shimmer, but we need a rainbow magic, I think is the next thing, isn't it? Yeah, rainbow magic packet, and then a rainbow shimmer. Perfect. So we have got enough to make... How many more can you make? Oh, four. So like the um, the unicorns and the llama, I'm pretty sure they all have the ability to make four slime packets. So at the moment, one effectively did her jacket, and say about three-fifths of her dress so I'm gonna make another one and then we're gonna finish I'll get back to finish her dress and her shoes it's probably gonna be darker in the video I'm sorry it's just the Sun is setting so yellow in the afternoons this is gonna be a bit darker in the video when I get the second slime made okay I know the lighting's not that bad but didn't take too much now I didn't this time I wanted to test it I didn't add a little bit of time. I threw that rainbow magic and that rainbow shimmer right on top of that slime and just did the omelette technique, put the stuff in the middle, fold, put some more stuff in the fold, you know, dab, put some more stuff in the middle, fold, dab, fold, dab, fold, dab. And look at it. You get this beautiful, shimmery, covered in stars slime. It's really hard to do in this sunlight, but it is perfect. And I'm hoping it's going to go into here and match the slime that's in there because this, I need some for the shoes. Now for the shoes, I'm going to pull off about that much each for the shoes. So I hope I've got enough to do out of the two, the shoes and the dress without having to make four packets of slime. So again, I'm just going to get as much air as I can out and seal it. I'm really sorry that the lighting's terrible. I know I get really frustrated when lighting's bad on a video I'm watching. I'm like, oh, I can't see anything. Okay, let's just make sure we get all that air out. I don't want a big whole pocket of air in there. Good. I think that's everything. Perfect. Okay, so this is a slightly darker pink. Is that going to show up? Yeah, it is. So it's a more purpley pink which is a shame I thought it was gonna match perfect but it is a different color however I wonder if I can make this work for me let's put it on the board and iron it out <laughs> I feel silly trying to get all the creaky table going I don't want the slime to be thick that is one thing I don't want I think another packet of slime in here would make the dress way way too bulky and there is definitely enough bulk in the slime I think that I can get it I can make it work that is as good as it's gonna get I think so it goes from a light pink to a purple at the side I've tried to make the front nice and covered 
So can you see that light pink to a purple? That's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. So I wonder if you do get different purple shades. Next, it says, and I have to take these off anyway, to do the shoes, remove the top half of the shoe to detach the heel. Store the slime in the heel. Okay. Ah, oops. Okay, it is just a matter of, oh, I don't think this is going to seal nicely. I think this is, this is a bit iffy. The other ones have nice sealers on them. Let's make sure I've got equal, a little bit more on this side. There we go. Give them a bit of a blip. Now, can I stretch it out? And poke it. There's my little poker. Come on, poker. Ooh, that makes an interesting sound, doesn't it? <laughs> Yes, we find entertainment where we can. <laughs> now, to put it back on, it says slide the tip of the shoe and then insert the back. So slide the tip and then insert the back. So I have all the pieces filled with slime, with the light pink slime and the dark pink slime, and a little bit of the either the llama or the unicorn's pink slime. I'm going to dress her up and see how I feel about this. Beautiful doll, strange combo of slime <laughs> dresses and fashion, but let's see how easy it is. First off, um, though, I'm going to need to put on her socks. So where did I put her socks? Right down here. So these don't have any slime element to them. Alright, so they're pretty much right up to her knee. They fit really well and quite easy to put on to be quite honest. So those are her socks on. We can get that in focus. Camera really loves those poopsies behind. <laughs> there we go, she's got some socks on. Next I'm going to put on her dress. So I'm hoping the camera, yeah, you can see it definitely on the camera today, from the light pink to the dark pink. And I've smushed it all around as best I can to fill it all up. I think it's pretty done, well done. Just get your hair out of the way, sweetheart. Ah! <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Let's get your hair out of the way, sweetheart. Sometimes I feel like you need a third hand to do everything when you're doing things on camera. All right, let's try this way. So her hair all goes down. Does it fit nicely? It's a bit of a bit of a pull because the dress is a bit chunky. How do we go? <laughs> I'm still not. I think it's. I think the idea is neat. Look at all the sparkles in there. I think the color change is neat. So you do get different colors, shades of pink with her. Do I like it? Yes and no at the same time. What's really interesting to me is now that her dress is quite chunky and full of slime, can I get her jacket on easily? So I'm going to put her arms behind her because obviously her jacket's going to have to be put on from behind. Again, sweetheart, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to turn you upside down. Upsy daisy. <laughs> if you know the, um, the night garden, upsy daisy. That was a big thing back in the day for my kids. Oh, that actually went on really, really easy. But how are her hands to get through these little parts at the back? Because this is all stuff you need to take into an account. As an adult collector, I can work these things out. Oh, that wasn't too bad. But you've always got to think that these are marketed towards children. And a lot of parents are going to be buying them for children. So you've always got to think... Is it easy to do? I have to say the slime is super easy to do. My goodness, darling, your hair is everywhere. You're like the unicorns. When you move them around, their hair just flops everywhere. <laughs> okay, she has her slime-covered jacket on. Now, I will say this. It looks cute. I'll move her back a bit so she gets in. But it has taken away a tiny bit of body form. There is no waist anymore. It is basically a dress that goes to just under her armpits and then sprays out. The jacket is okay fitting. There's not, there's not much room under the arm and it is a bit 
bit pulling pulling under like if you're wearing a top that's uh one size too small if that makes sense you know when you put something on and it pulls up under your arms it does have a little bit of that feel to it but it was easy to get on so i'm not complaining too much all right so these super cute little roller skate slimes <laughs> they are easy as pie to get on again i think the slime in the skate because it isn't really an airtight seal will dry up fairly fast you may have to top those up because when slime dries i noticed it shrinks a little bit i don't know if that's something to do with the glue but there we go now i grabbed oh she's standing on her own standing on her own awesome i'll move her back in a moment i grabbed a bit more slime from the unicorns and placed it into her bag here so it's not see-through anymore it's got varying shades of pink in there <laughs> let's put that over her shoulder i'll put your arm sweet up so you can hold that easier move you back get you into camera focus i'm just going to move the camera slightly this way look at it she's standing by herself abracadabra ta-da what a beautiful doll and with the slime on her i guess it's counting semi as a weight pulling her down she can stand on her own that's awesome so with her accessory of the with the bottom on hopefully <laughs> of the sparkle free fart drink the comb which is going to go through her hair easy as there's no styling in her hair there's i don't even think there was product no i don't think there's product in her hair so you can just brush right through it without worry extra elements to make slime the only thing i'm not going to do is the makeup rainbow highlighter yeah, that's kind of a kitty makeup sort of thing that I'm not interested in. She is a beautiful doll and I am very impressed and I am so happy that I decided to get the dolls too. 120 actually had me questioning a bit if it was worth it. I don't mind 75 for the big critters, but 120, I'm very, very happy that I got them for my set. <laughs> very, very cute. So that is Pixie Rose. I will be opening up the next, the girls over the next few days, the rest of the girls. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love poopsies, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love dolls in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.